going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In the spirit of the holidays, today is going to be a list of 20 gifts that are fashion and lifestyle centered. All of these gifts are, are going to be in order of ascending price. And I will also divvy up each into categories depending on the type of person that you're trying to get these gifts for. So the four categories that I have, fashion forward, the homeowner, the home body, and the general for everyone list. I'm pretty sure this should cover most of the people in your lives that you're getting gifts for. So without further ado, let's jump into the first list. All right, so starting off on the first item, coming in at $75, we have the Reebok Club C. I genuinely love the shoe. I actually bought this for my fiance. Um, she's been rocking a lot of dirty Air Force Ones and we just can't have that if you're gonna be in a relationship with me. I'm totally kidding. But I genuinely love this shoe. As someone that is a fan of the vintage aesthetic, the aged cream midsole and just the aged cream upper contrasted with the green accents of the shoe. I love everything about this shoe. The branding is very subtle too. If you know, you know, but if you don't know, it just looks like any other shoe. And some people might like that. And at $75, often on sale as well, I think this is a fantastic gift for this fashion person in your life. Moving on, we have another shoe coming in at $80. This is the Converse Chuck 70. I really, really want a personal pair. However, this shoe is very hard to find in my size. These run a whole size big. You may be asking what's different about these. The materials are better. The comfort of these shoes as a whole is better. These will just last a way longer than your normal run of the mill, 40, $50 chucks. So for just 20 to $30 more, you're getting a shoe that's gonna last longer. They're based on how Converse were made in the 70s. And overall, I just like the aesthetic of this. So this shoe is number two on the list. Moving on, the third item. I personally love this piece and this is gonna be a yours may vary, but the third item is a Letterman jacket. Now, I recommend going to a vintage store. I've worn one in my videos before, this navy and white one, I'll throw up some B-roll, but I have found it at a vintage store for like 40 to $50. You can find a good one if your price range is open between 50 to $100. It adds a lot of sporty characteristics to an outfit. It's not something that most people will already have. It just may be a piece that they don't have already, you know? And most of these are gonna be made of wool or leather. So if it's the winter season for you guys, it's gonna keep you guys warm. This next one, coming at $160, we have this Etsy brand. I personally never shopped at it, but just going off of the listing itself, I really like this brand. It's called Indigo Union. Here's the, here's the jacket. And at a quick glance, it's gonna look like a standard denim jacket, but you got to look at the details of this piece. It is a beautifully crafted workwear style chore jacket, but utilizing finely textured denim fabrics. Even down to the buttons, there's a happy face on the buttons. Very capital-esque if that's your lane. And it's not that blatantly, bam, patchwork, different fabrics. It's actually very subtle where the denim variations are maybe one to two shades lighter or darker than the panel next to it. And I personally actually really want this jacket. I think that is a beautiful, subtle way of showing that you're into fashion without being overbearing. Coming at $160, if this is for someone that you love, I think it's a good gift. Next up, Depending on the size, this is gonna come in between $170 to $200. We have the Air Jordan 1 Lowe's in the neutral gray colorway. Now, if you are a sneakerhead or you follow shoes, you will know that the high tops version of this dropped last year. Very hyped release, but the low, low tops, I personally think look better and are also sitting at like a fraction of the price. But regardless of that, this shoe is still very, very clean and elegant. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck buying this shoe because it's very wearable across all the outfits that you could think of, in my opinion. 
Moving on, coming in at $225, we have this pair of APC raw denims. And for those of you that don't know what raw denim is, before I describe APC as a brand, raw denim is at the core denim that hasn't been washed, it's dry. It has the indigo still all in it. Most of the jeans that you buy from your normal jean brands like Levi's, or of Uniqlo or any of that sort, they will go through a wash to minimize the dye that's released at the wash. And the beautiful thing about raw denim is that it really molds to the person's legs as well as fading in very specific spots that are unique to the wearer, more drastically than a normal store-bought pair of jeans. If the person in your life likes fashion, they will appreciate a pair of raw denim because it is basically the pinnacle of jeans coming in at Long story short, coming in at $225, you have the APC new standards. And the last item on the fashion focus part of this gift list, we have not just an item, but rather a brand. I'm gonna to recommend to you guys a brand called Collegium. They brand themselves as a luxury shoe brand. Their mainline silhouette is actually a homage to the Jordan 1. The dude that is behind this brand is super cool, very transparent and humble person who is really about the community that he is making these goods for. So Collegium as a brand is about gathering those types of people, tastemakers, people that are very into fashion and culture, bring them all together with great products at what I think are reasonable prices for the quality that you're getting. The homeowner list. If the person that you're buying this gift for has just too much clothing, not enough closet space, but their room could be updated or something about their home could be, you know, elevated, this part of the list is for you. Starting off at the first item. Coming in at $18, it's not actually a home decor item, but it's Jason Mark Shoe Cleaner. And the reason I didn't put this on the fashion focus list is because I wanted to keep that list to be purely clothing. These are anything that are accessories and else that you would find in a store. If the special someone in your life has too much shoes that they aren't cleaning, or maybe they have beaters that could be livened up a little bit, I genuinely recommend getting them a nice shoe cleaner. It will genuinely make a difference in your wardrobe. A pair of clean shoes can freshen up an outfit more than a new top and a new bottom, because a lot of the times I notice immediately someone's shoes. And so if they're looking crusty, maybe get that special someone some shoe cleaner. And at coming in at $18, it's a very affordable gift. Next up, coming in at $25, we have something from the brand Emilian Dor. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, please let me know. I've heard it pronounced Emilian Dore. I've also heard Emilian Dor. I love this brand. I think this brand is doing a beautiful job. Actually, this brand's been doing a beautiful job since I've discovered them, I don't know, maybe like four to five years ago. So at $25, we have the AOD Slip Mat. If that special someone in your life is into fashion, as a record player, I think this gift is the perfect gift to kind of merge those worlds together. Their designs on this, very beautiful, makes a very great statement in one's home. Basically telling someone that's visiting, hey, I'm into fashion, but I'm not trying to be overbearing. So coming in at $25, the AOD slip mat. Coming in at $35, we have something from the brand Kif, another longtime favorite brand of mine. This is the Kif Moleskin Notebook. And yes, you can get any other Moleskin Notebook, but again, all of these items, fashion focused, fashion centered. So Kif, if they know, they know. Beautiful embossed Kif logo splattered throughout the cover. Kif does a great job at their subtle branding and they didn't miss with this notebook by just splattering their logo on the front page while keeping it still very elegant in my opinion. So at $35, if someone needs a notebook in your life, I think this Kif notebook is a great gift. Moving on, I haven't actually bought anything from this brand in a while, but as I was researching, I decided to dig into it and I was surprised at some of the items that I found. We have the Palace Ashtray. This thing coming in at $48, I think would make a great accessory to any coffee table. Just very subtle, it's glass, it doesn't add like visual clutter. You don't have to use it for its ashtray purpose. I don't think I would if I got it. I would just sit on the table. You could probably put like a lighter for your candles in there. 
just you know small trinkets, make it a catch tray. There's 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 versatility. There's range to this piece. So coming in at forty-eight dollars, the Palace Ashtray. Circling back to AOD, we have a sixty-five dollar item, the AOD candle. Nothing much more to say about it. I'm sure it smells great. I wouldn't know. I haven't bought it. It has that beautiful AOD jar. And the beautiful thing about candles is that after you've burned through it, you can repurpose the jar that it comes in for other things. So using it as a planter, bathroom accessory, put your Q-tips in it. It's very sustainable as a gift because the jar as a whole can be reused and repurposed. So I'm a big fan of that. So coming in at $65, we have the AOD candle. All right, you staying with me? We're, we're moving through this. Coming in also at $65, we have the Stussy Welcome Mat. I've actually bought this gift as a gift for a cousin. Um, this person, very much a homeowner, and it was the perfect touch of adding a little bit of streetwear to this person's place without you know intruding on their own design of what they have already going on inside the house. Sometimes you don't want to buy furniture for someone because you don't know their taste necessarily, but I feel like this welcome mat is generic enough while still having streetwear elements to it to be something that is niche where someone's not going to have it, but at the same time very much appreciated. So this Stussy welcome mat coming in at $65, great touch to anyone's doorway. I highly recommend it. And lastly, Coming in at actually $2, we have the Supreme Skittles. <laughs> All right, moving on. We're going to talk about the gift for the homebody. So all of these items are all just cozy garments. I personally either own these or have bought items or want to buy items from these brands. So let's run through the list. Coming in at number one, between $25 to $50, we have the Champion Reverse Weave Crew Neck. I personally love and own, I think, three or four reverse weave items. They are the standard of sweatshirts in general for me. Once you put on a reverse weave item, it really changes what you think heavyweight is. The reason for the name reverse weave is it's actually a common weave technique across a lot of heavyweight sweatshirts, but its emphasis is that instead of vertical shrinkage, it shrinks horizontally. So a lot of the dimensions, if anything, start to fit better over time, but don't lose their length, which is a big deal for people if you know with sweatshirts, as you throw them into the wash, they might ride up after you shrink them a little bit. So this sweatshirt is geared towards combating that. Whoever you get this for will definitely enjoy this. Next up, if you're trying to go the next mile, coming in at $100, we have House of Blanks. Now you may be asking, what the heck is House of Blanks? I've done some research online. People say that House of Blanks is the place that Supreme gets its blank sweatshirts from to slap their logo onto. I haven't tried this yet, but just going off of what I know about clothing, it's GSM or it's weight is comparable to a heavyweight hoodie. It's even heavier than reverse weave. I highly recommend if you're trying to go above the reverse weave, which is a great hoodie already, if you're trying to go above that, go for this House of Blanks. So coming in at $100, House of Blanks crew neck. Lastly, we have an international brand, Cole Buxton. This has been making its rounds on YouTube. I'm personally a big fan of the heavyweight warm-up pants. They're cut down to how they stack, the elastic around their legs. It seems to all be very meticulously designed and almost perfect just going off of the design photos. I think that any homebody in your life that is working from home or spending a lot of time is really going to appreciate these heavy-duty sweatpants. What an oxymoron. <laughs> All right, you guys made it. You're at the home stretch. This is the general gift list, the list for everyone. This is the basics that if you don't care about anything I just said earlier, no one can go wrong with these gifts. Starting with the first item, coming in at $15, the Uniqlo Airism underwear. 
it changed my life. <laughs> I bought one pair and I still only have one pair, but I look forward to the day in the week where I am wearing that pair. To best describe it, it's similar to compression for sports, but way softer, not as strong of an elastic, very airy, yet still supportive. And at the same time, it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. If your person is still wearing cotton boxers with holes in them from a while ago, I highly recommend investing in some of these for that special someone. And it's gonna change your life. Just, just trust me on this one. It will change their life. I swear by it. So coming in at $15, the Uniqlo Airism underwear. Coming in at $20, we're still on the Uniqlo train. This is the Uniqlo U t-shirt. It is my favorite everyday t-shirt. I have like three or four of them in my rotation on a weekly basis. Why I like them so much is that they're much heavier than your standard run-of-the-mill t-shirts. So if you're buying stuff from like H&M, Walmart, or Target, or I don't know, you know they're thin and you know how you throw them in a wash and they just shoop into like, you know, the bacon weave collars and all that. None of this happens with the Uniqlo U t-shirt. The thick fabric will keep you warm as a layer and at the same time, it helps maintain a strong, confident, boxy shape that I'm personally a fan of. It's definitely not in the lane of those slim fit shirts. It's in fact rather opposite, but I personally think these look way better. For the price, you can buy a handful and you'll be set for a while. Coming in at $20, the Uniqlo U t-shirt. And last item, you guys made it. This is for anyone and everyone. These are the $22 Nike Dry Fit socks. Richie, why are you recommending socks? Guys, these socks have changed my life. I have like two to three packs of these. They come in packs of six. What you don't understand is I got clammy feet. So TMI, I'm sorry, but these have been the only socks where I can wear them and my feet aren't puddles by the end of the day. These socks are gonna change your life if you suffer from the same problems as me. Just trust me, buy them for someone and ask them how they feel after a day of wearing them and walking around and exercising, all that. It's, it's gonna be night and day. So I highly recommend these, the $22 Nike Dry Fit socks. All right, you guys made it. That was 20 items that I think are worth considering for a gift for that person in your life, whether it is the fashion forward person, the homeowner, the homebody, or just the general public. I think there is something for everyone on this list. And this list was made to not promote consumerism by any means. I actually don't believe in any of that. If you love someone, you don't need to buy something for them to show that you love them. This is more, if you have, money to spare and you want to show someone you love them through that, let this list be inspiration for you. And so without anything else, I'm gonna end it here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy holidays. Peace out guys.